Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as a puppet nation, the Baja Territories, in this series of Old World Blues A to Z. But we gotta talk about the state of Baja because they do have a unique-ish focus tree. Well, pretty unique. State of Baja. Today we mark the official entrance of the entirety of the Baja California Peninsula into the New California Republic. We'll still some reject the NCR control. We're positive in time. People will see the importance of our work here. State of Baja. This day will henceforth commemorate the founding of the state of Baja. Plans are underway for a massive parade through the streets of La Yaqui, the newly chosen capital of Baja. Import plenty of food and drink. Ooh. Celebrate with a military parade, demonstrate our strength, rig up a few fireworks, and put on a show. Really, a parade? We barely have a budget yet. Uh, that's definitely not worth it. Seat selection? Do we have seat selection? I have no idea what we are doing, because this was AI controlled. Oh my god, we have nothing here. Well, it's 45 days. You want to say 45 days? I'd rather have the Army XP in war support, truth be told. Uh, labor compromise. Convinced that the banditos and other groups of wary of California expansion to agree to peaceful integration was never going to be easy. Even with terrorist efforts from Hector Santango and Grant C. Hayes, a certain amount of compromise was required to finalize a deal with the uh, fate of Pancho Villa. Pancho Villa, head honcho of the Villa Banditos, has been a popular figure in Baja region for quite some time, using the illicit gains to help the impoverished tower. He has also been one of the most critical voices against the NCR's presence in the region. While he's thus far been removed from any official authority, we can't ignore him forever, of course. Compromises. Convincing the whole Baja to join the NCR uses significant amount of resources. With the costs essentially bribing the locals into compliance with funding by the Senate, it was perhaps inevitable that we come up short somewhere else. During a recent check by the newly established administration, we found that we've, we've used up our importing imported building supplies. We've not been able to source educational material. We're over promised on our budget. Construction speed? Nah, eh, whatever. Uh, now we gotta figure out which way we wanna go, because right now we are people. Path. I did set up uh, handling via. Uh, these guys do go with whom? Ooh. All good Murphy. So, yeah. Pancho Villa was a constant thorn in the side of Daglo Border Patrols, and confident and innovative man, or innovent, inventive man. The success of getting goods across the border brought him much fame and respect in Baja. However, while his crimes against the NCR are forgiven, his part of deals that brought the region under control, more than a few voices from California have called for marginalizing his impact on the new state. On the other hand, leaving a competent individual like Villa to language would be a waste of time. A few paths should ensure that he stays out of sight. Ooh. Give him position in the local administration. Change it for people. Offer him a spot. Leading men once more. Oh, what the heck is, are these benefits? What the heck? I like the payoffs. Scavenging the battlefield. So we can do the NCR draft. And this is ruler. A lot more population. Territorial pacification. Not bad. Or go expeditionary control. Working with the locals. Not great. Taxation, which is okay. Territory administration, more political power. Propaganda push for even more political power. Bringing in followers for even more support equipment. Production cost goes down, lose some more support. That's not bad. Closer to California. The barons, though. Become elites. Better consumer goods. Even better consumer goods. Factory output as well. I want to go with territory administration. With well, some hesitation by the locals to accept us, efforts must be done to gain their trust. Food must be handed out and militias must be established. I like that political power, because if we go to war, we might be able to use a lot of political power for stuff. Political propaganda posters. To fully ensure the trust and get them to accept us, we must begin spreading propaganda to draw them close to us. It, is it deception? Yes, but sacrifice the TA is willing to make. Is willing to make. Ooh, night meetings. Ooh, more political power. Uh, it feels weird, um, actually being a puppet of someone else. I usually don't play cam campaigns like this, but uh, with followers of the apocalypse, it makes more sense to exile them, but uh, we're going to go to Convention Warfare 2. Let them come in and let them do good with it. I mean, it makes more sense to, like I said, exile them, but for now, keep them here. It's fine, whatever. Um, with Ruler, though, we get intellectuals, there's elites, experienced diplomat, faithful henchman. That's pretty good, too. I like that one quite a bit, actually. More daily compliance is very nice, actually. This is okay. Just five work with something else. That's not really worth doing, so we'll probably get person in the community next, maybe. Honest speaker, right now. It's not bad, either. Minus 5% resistance target. So, the goal for this campaign is just to finish out the focus trees best we can. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Maybe we'll all die. Probably all die in the end. But spoiler, we all do anyway, so. Reform banditos. Pancho's pride. Water is his roar. Air be inspirational. Just be an inspirational guy. That's all I want you to do. Uh, Steven Hinman. Less. Wait, less it. Oh. Hmm. I guess more attack, but still. 
offset that by going inspirational. Basically, he learns stuff. And propaganda posters. Bring in followers. We need to help the locals as much as we can. The followers will do just that for us for, for a minor fee. We'll give them the facilities and resources that they need to settle and begin helping the people. Closer to California. We're becoming more and more integrated into the political system of the Republic, and many locals are destined to be excellent citizens. Engage in the community. Becoming part of something large is always an uncertain prospect, and not everyone has the highest opinion of the NCR. If we are fully incorporated in the state, we need to improve ourselves or, uh, to be invested in the community and take steps to see it grow. Propaganda poster, something I'd like to see. I introduce the NCR law. The way it sends a lawless place like the West of Old might be too often makes makes right on the frontiers. The NCR brings order and by introducing and enforcing our code of laws in the community, we can prove this claim. Taxes for infrastructure, freedom isn't free, and sadly neither are roads. To better integrate frontier states into the Republic, we'll use new taxpayers to fund infrastructure in the region. Um, the new NCR state. Industry is thriving, culture's flowering, and people are dying less and generally being more polite. The NCR. As a new loyal state, and it's all thanks to the hard-working men and women in the territorial administration. Nice. Extra tools. Let's see. That's not bad. That's not bad either. It's for the NCR. Um, well, let's just go with this one for now. What else we got down here? We'll get it closer to California, but that's almost a thousand autonomy stuff. That's just insane to do, but... Yeah. Let's see. I guess after this one, NCR state. Extra tools. To decrease the production, we must have better machinery to assist the workers. New workshops. Due to the recruitment of many workers and the acquisition of advanced machinery, we're finally able to acquire new workshops provided by the California government. Arms for the troops. We can now let our military forces sit in a logistical void like many of the armies in the wasteland. Our soldiers will be equipped and ready. Gun runner strongholds. The gun runner's workshops are a must for a military unit, and we are lucky to be able to take advantage of them. Bandito heritage, huh? A new NCR state. Oh boy. Violence as a tool. Ooh. Procurement. Promote the old crews. Well, supporting the NCR. In the struggle for democracy, the NCR is the leader. We must give it all our support and provide it with weapons. Uh, sending recruits and bureaucrats to the NCR. Oh, boy. Our support is not limited to the supply of weapons. We must send our brothers to fight for freedom for democracy and our bureaucrats to work themselves to death. No one likes them anyways. Beginning vehicle production. As a member state of the NCR, it's our duty to produce vehicles for them. In doing so, we'll eventually be able to form our own motorized units. Which isn't bad. Um, restoring garages. In order to fill our production gaps, we have to clear out some old garages and convert them to be able to produce and repair many vehicles. Paying our dues. We owe much to the Republic without it, we do not freedom and security. We owe it everything. Hiring highwaymen experts. The highwaymen of the waste, while very irritating, can prove to be very useful when it comes to learning about vehicles. We'll reach out to a few retired ones and get their advice, or at least at worst, make them pay for the former crimes. Bandito heritage. No one's debating the NCR spent resources earning the trust of the people here, but that doesn't mean they'll roll over and forget who they've been since Rattletail either. Violence is a tool. Even civilized states have a use for violence and other talents of bandits. Promote the old crews. We haven't forgotten who did good work. A few pardons here, a couple caps there. We can reward those folks with new jobs. Procurement. In the old days, we could get anything you desired if you had the caps. Nowadays, that's still true. And the borders into, into the NCR have uh, far fewer eyes. Nice. Yeah, let's get some better planes. Um, Hente del Sol did actually justify on us, so... It might be a war sooner rather than later, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we need to have night meetings. And we need to do this too, because it's going to hurt consumer goods, but that's okay, because we definitely are now back down to a incorporated territory, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but I guess we'll read about paying our dues. We owe much to the Republic without it. We would not have freedom and security. We owe it everything. Hiring human experts. Um, so I read this one another story that again, please go ahead. Raising forces. All these efforts, whether industrial, civil, or military, have not been in vain. We've been creating a real force capable of assisting the Republic at any time and also protecting ourselves. Uh, Gulf of California. With Bob California under the NCR umbrella, the nation now has far greater access to the Gulf of California. It represents both an opportunity to be exploited and a far greater coastline to protect. Not bad. Uh, forging a new identity. Oh, we can't do... Okay, so we can't do this one. Uh, we do this one. A Bandito Heritage. Which building the center. I guess we can't do the size. This side, I should say. Which, it's not bad. The size is not bad. I, I mean, we would have lost 10% political power, which I don't like. We've got, we've got more construction people. Handling Juarez. Um, oh. Oh, well. Defending the mouth of the Colorado. Oh, look at this. Besides the long coast of Baja, the region also sits at the mouth of the Colorado River, securing it proved out in the years to come. Organizing a navy. Simply sending out whatever ships can be charted out and patrol won't cut it against the Legion or other threats. A local force of the Gulf needs to be organized, equipped, and prepared. And then contain the Generalissimo. Cross water, self proclaimed Generalissimo Viala. Viala. Assigned deals with binding his nation and his fleet to the bold flag. We've had to be prepared for the invasion of Henta. And that's pretty much the entire focus for everybody. Um. 
it's all done. Uh, and we're trying to become... We have 47 factories, which is actually pretty darn decent for you know, being a puppet, but... That's pretty much it. We could do the entire war with Kaiser's Legion, but... We've got plenty in this series to do, so... If you enjoyed the campaign, the small little video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great Baja Blast rest of your day.